You're watching the Sega Driven YouTube channel and it's back to our Sonic Hacking Contest 2023 coverage. In this video we're taking a look at Roller the Bad Nick in Sonic 3 Air, developed by my dude YT. Now, if you're familiar with the Sonic Hack Snolf, then uh, basically you'll be familiar with how this is going to play. Um, so yes, um, you take control of a roller badnik, and you don't have direct control over his movement. You have to use uh, the sort of golf mechanics that we've seen in other hacks like Snolf. Um, so yeah, you can basically do a spin dash and charge your power meter, which allows you to travel further. And a little um, sort of line will appear out of the roller badnik and move up and down, showing you the amount of power you're going to apply to the shot and the elevation that you're going to use. Um, so yeah, that's basically your control input method, and you're thrown into Sonic 3 and Knuckles as per, you know, Sonic 3 Air, and you have to complete the stages with this control setup. It is very much... I don't want to say a troll hack, because it, it is at least playable, and there has been enough done to the stages to, 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 make, to allow you to progress using this control method. Um, so it's not actively trolling you, it's not trying to, um, you know, put things in your path to, to make you rage quit or anything like that. It's very much just, here is an alternative control method to, to play these stages, where you have less uh, movement options, uh, and it's all about sort of, you know, this, this, this golf style use of power and um, elevation to, to get yourself through. So, yeah, it's interesting in that regard. Whether or not you'd actually want to play all of Sonic 3 and Knuckles like this, I think is um, entirely up to how patient you are, because I don't think I've got the patience to, to go through this entire thing like this, unfortunately. I think, it, I, I think it's funny, I think it's a nice little idea, I think the concept is executed well, and they have made some changes to the stages to allow um, you to actually complete them this way. It just, as the stages progress and they get more intricate, it does become a lot more um, difficult to obviously progress. Um, but it, it is doable and I think the concept is enjoyable. I just don't know if I could go through an entire you know run of Sonic 3 and Knuckles using this this very limited control input. It's, it's, there's not enough here to really keep me engaged unfortunately. Um, I do think you know this is a unique little thing um, and very much, you know, follows in the footsteps of things like Snolf, um, and does a pretty good job of, you know, making those mechanics work and understandable, and it, it soon becomes second nature. You'll soon be doing, you know, little shots to, to, to adjust yourself in, 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 into position, and then, you know, charging up to full power and, and using the elevation to get yourself to where you need to go. It, it becomes pretty second nature at, at the more you play it. Um, but... In, in all honesty, I just think it's too limited to, to really engage you for the entire run time of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, it's it, it's a fun little concept, executed well, but it's, it's too limiting, unfortunately. It, it's just one of those things where um, I just can't see myself playing the entire game like this. You may well, you know, that that, that is something that may vary from player to player, um, but I think you have to be, have a very specific uh, liking or inkling towards these sort of golf style uh, Sonic hacks to, to really enjoy this and um, yeah I, I don't know if that's me unfortunately but you're, like I say your mileage may vary you may enjoy this but I just think it's a little bit too limited personally. 